Well, hey folks, it is day 21. 21 days of gratitude and goodness. We have reached the end of the journey. It is Sunday, February the 27th. Uh, I want to encourage you to share your stories uh, with me, what this journey has been like for you. Uh, email, text, call, catch me at church. I'm just excited to see what God has done uh, for you in this experience of gratitude and goodness. Every Sunday, uh, I challenge you to take your generosity to the next level. Uh, if you're not a current, consistent uh, financial support supporter of the ministry of the church, I would encourage you uh, to make today uh, the day that you change that. Uh, if you are current and consistent with that, then consider what God is calling you to, to expand that generosity uh, through avenues like uh, missionary support or faith-based organizations committed to spreading the gospel. Um, Friends, giving your money is not just a nice thing to do. Uh, it is a spiritual discipline uh, that indicates the level and depth of your faith and broadens your witness to the world. And so I want, to ta- I want you to take your financial generosity uh, seriously. Hebrews 13, 16 says, Do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. I don't know about you, but I just want God to be pleased with me. Uh, He has been so good to me. I want to be good to others through my generosity. Uh, Anne Frank, who suffered through the Holocaust and was for many years dependent on the goodness, on the kindness of even strangers. uh, She said this, no one ever became poor by being generous. No one ever became poor by being generous. Why? Because it's it's a kingdom promise, friends. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 9 that God will always make you rich rich enough to be generous. You will always be rich enough to be generous. And so if you are generous, you will always be rich. Solomon said it this way in Proverbs 11, a generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. So be grateful, be generous. And I wanna congratulate you, you made it. And I just hope that this is a start, not the end, but a start of a whole new discipline in your life. Uh, You haven't reached the end of gratitude and goodness. You have just simply launched a whole new season of your life. And I hope that you have been blessed by it. So God bless you. Never grow weary of being grateful and good. Be good. Be grateful. God bless you.